So, Shinobis, welcome back to Fall of Porcupine. We're on our way to work. Hopefully, save some lives today. Hopefully, our homeboy, Alfino, is okay. Oh! <gasps> no! Where is he? How did that happen? I think a branch broke off and hit the window. Uh, really? I couldn't tell by the branch being right next to the window. No! Maybe he lives in the sewers? Oh! You're the one with the chair. Oh, we know him? You're still sad out here in this weather? There's no such thing as bad weather. The end of fall is often gray and muddy here. In many countries of the world, water falling from the sky is a cause for celebration. But, like so many things, this weather has its downsides. You're right there. It's cold and wet. Oh no, that's not what I mean. But, I did lose my breakfast this morning. Blown into the river. Damn, that is tough. I was very much looking forward to my tomato sandwich. You know, I don't know how to cook, so good luck with that one. Tell me, Finley, what drew you to your river? Your stream of patience. Helping. It feels good to help. When the people around you feel better, you feel better too? Exactly. And when you feel better, do you find it easier to make them feel better? Yeah, I guess so. Is that what you think? Yes, I'm certain. Wow, stream of consciousness. Stream of consciousness. Nice little breeze last night, huh? You could say that. The storm threw my window right open. Gave me a good scare. Okay, it's not like it just completely bursted, okay? They were pumping water out of my folks' basement this morning. See, and you worried about a damn plant in St. Ursula's. Oy vey. What? What about it? Haven't you heard? Half the hospital was swept away by the rain and wind last night. Made a heck of a racket, apparently. Half the hospital, you say? Oh, at least. So if I go over there now, only 50% of it will still be standing? <laughs> Those eyes and that thought bubble. <gasps> All right, maybe it's not quite that bad. But something happened. I know that for sure. Really? What? No idea. Just rumors I heard her on my rounds. Haven't seen it for myself yet. Better hurry up then. Hope it's not too bad. <gasps> my boy, he's found shelter. Alfio, it's good to see you. That was some storm, huh? You're telling me. Woke me right up when a branch hit me in the face. Poor guy. He's lost his hat. His favorite spot, which we'll call home, is now all wet. And he got hit in the face by a tree. And don't even get me started on my socks. Oh, my and wet socks? This man has been through everything. I got a bit of a sore throat, but I'm about to treat myself to a hot coffee. Besides, I find the sound of the rain soothing. Me too, man. Be careful not to catch a cold, okay? You got it. I'm guessing you're off to work? Ah, I'm sure the bus will turn up soon. Should we wait for the bus? I mean, it's raining. There's a whole bunch of debris. Nah, um... I'm a, I'm a walk. I'm just waiting for the pump. What kind of pump? Oh, the basement. Okay, okay, yeah. We also need to do a couple of things. We need to check to see if Maggie is still in the schoolyard or the, the skate park. If she is, then we can work on the comic. Also need to see if maybe, perhaps, the hat? Well, no. It's gone. Now where is it? Sit on it. Oh, okay, no, I was gonna check homie's head, but I don't think he had the hat on. Plants are like us. They're not meant to last forever. I'm afraid I don't have a suitable plant at the moment. But if I can, I'll get you a new one. I promise. Okay, everything's a bit of a mess here too after last night. The first thing I'm gonna do is get everything straightened out again. And I need to get to the hospital. I hope everything's all right there. Oh, hey, it's Mia. This must be the first time I bumped into you just out in the street. I think you're right. I wanted to go shopping before work. Besides, I love the air when it rains. It really fires up my senses, you know? All right, well, don't let me keep you. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other again very soon. Yep, see you soon. Oh, it's this guy. I'm sure he's fine. I don't think we need to talk to him. She is here. There you are again. I had another idea for my comic. Want to hear? Hell yeah. The story is set on the distant planet of Ursus. Our brave heroine, Noelle, is about to wake up in her bed. It's a beautiful summer morning. It smells like grass, raspberries, and warm air. She hears a noise and opens her window curtains. Suddenly, 
Her breath catches in her throat. And? Um. What comes next again? Shoot, I should have written it down. But I already have to take so many notes at school. It's no fun. No problem. I think I know what comes next. Really? What's next? All right, here goes. She opened her window curtains. And she spotted a huge monster in the distance. Planet Queen standing in front of her door. A black hole in the sky. A uh, huge monster in the distance. Seems very typical. Black hole in the sky. That seems interesting. It's super busy eating up every star and planet. What is our heroine going to do about it? She's asking herself the same thing. I mean, she's super smart and strong. But she doesn't have a spaceship. And she can't just jump her way up into space. But then, suddenly, a stranger knocks at her door. His face is hidden under the hood he's wearing. She opens the door. And the guy is like... Noel opens the door, and the guy is like, Uh, I am with the Order of the Comet, a secret society that has been protecting the universe since the beginning of time. Mystical. Yeah, Noel has never heard about it either. But he's like, Oh, you're the chosen one. You need to do something to save Ursus. He gives her like a green rock. Take this rune, dive into the depths of the stripped ocean, and place it into the gate of eternity. Wow. Noah has no idea how to get down there. But she's a heroine, after all. So she takes the stone and travels to the ocean. Is she Aquaman? Like, but how is she going to reach the bottom of the ocean? She's going to find a way. <laughs> I like it. Oh, I'm done. That was exhausting. That was awesome. I'm so cautious or curious about what will happen next. Tonight, going to think up more stuff. I can't wait. Okay, so if we come back tomorrow, I'm assuming it'll be done. I guess we should go to work. I kind of want to check the bar uh, to check up on uh, Linguini. I forget his name. Just to see, you know, how he's feeling about his mom and all that. Well, the hospital seems fine. What about the left side? The left side is fine too. Oh, I mean, there's a couple things damaged here, but I mean, nothing crazy. It's just on the outside. You should be in bed, kid. Morning, Ingrid. Hey, did I stutter? There's a general meeting in the cafeteria. I'm going, I'm going. I just came in, all right? You know what? I'm taking back my good morning. It's not a good morning for you. Golly, this dude is swole. Why is everybody in here? Oh, hi, Mia. Hey, you're already here. Yeah, my shopping didn't take too long. And then I got the bus. Oh, shit. We should have waited for the bus. Any idea why we've all been called here? I think it's about the damage from the storm. Did you see the huge chunks of rubble lying around outside? Yeah. Do you think that's what they've called us all together like this? Do they want us to clear the rubble away? I don't think so. Maybe it was part of, like, the hospital, but we just can't see it. Because, I mean, it is five floors, so... Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. Oh, I think it started. Got a really bad feeling about this. I'm sure it won't be too bad. Let's get nearer to the front. All right. Ah, it's this guy. I realize we're all very busy, so I'll be brief. First of all, you'll notice Dr. Theobald isn't joining us for this meeting. There's been a lot of going on today, and our chief physician has a few matters to attend. As such, I'll be speaking on his behalf today. As you may have noticed, certain irregularities occurred in the hospital building last night. I understand this is some concern. I've already received an assessment and the damage is only superficial. So it's not all that bad, right? Nevertheless, this incident will once again draw the eyes and ears to us. St. Ursula's has come under repeated criticism in recent months. I mean, I could see why, man. You have one floor that's completely busted, that's not only just falling apart on its own, but it's making all of the other floors start to fall apart and cause problems. Not to mention a new... Intern is Finley an intern? Does he work like actually work? I don't know, but still, somebody new comes in, they get into an accident, a patient is bleeding, it's, it's so bad that they got to be transported to another hospital, and now the damn building is falling apart. I'd be criticizing it too. With that in mind, on behalf of St. Ursula's, I would ask you expressly if a person or a member of the press asks you about the damage, please refrain from making any statements, come straight to us. In such times, clear and 
unambiguous communication with the wider Porcupine community is essential. We will be happy to answer any questions you have at any times. But for now, let's get back to work. I've taken up enough of your time already. Time that should be dedicated to our valued patients. Yeah, you could have just sent this shit in an email, you know. Mia, are you not coming? I don't quite understand the announcement. It's not like the storm was the hospital's fault. We should start our shift. Our poor patients will be waiting for us. Yep, let's go. Carl, stop slacking around. We got shit to do. Hey, man, I didn't see the doc in at the meeting. Hopefully she ain't here. Because the days that she's not here, everything running smoothly. I mean, I got... Hi, Doc. I wish you a productive shift. Oh, well, that's a nice change of tone there. All right, hopefully nobody sabotages my medication dosages again. Because that was bullshit. Oh, these two. Hey, Rudy. How are you today? How's the self-inflicted food, <laughs> food poisoning going? Feeling better, but I almost threw up again when the hospital started shaking last night. Can you please keep it down, please? My head. He's just jealous because I'm fit and healthy again. I'm telling you, Doc. It was like an earthquake. When the roof came down, everyone jumped out of their beds to see what was going on. It was sick. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh damn, this is a double bump. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my, I didn't know that you can add multiple. Oh. Okay. Well, that evens out that. And then just this one. Hell yeah. All right. Oh, oh shit, no! I, I didn't see the blue. Oh my. I am blind as shit. Rudy's gonna die. This man is lying to his face. We've got the bacteria under control. No, we don't. Ollie, your brother's gonna die. So sick. Can't keep anything down. My head and stomach hurt so bad. You don't sound too good. I'll give you the same shot I gave you yesterday, okay? This should get the... Shigia back under control. Seems like both of you guys are dying. One of natural causes and uh, one medically induced. It looks like your Shigia hasn't died down yet. Your body's still fighting it. Ouch. Come on. Don't be so dramatic about it. Ollie? He's not being dramatic. Your brother needs to stay here until his readings improve. But... Get some rest, Ollie. You both are gonna die. Time for our favorite patient. Wait, do I need to talk to you? Um, can I help you? How do I put this? It's a little embarrassing. There's no need to be embarrassed. I don't think that Moosley went down well this morning. She shat the bed? Oh, no. Okay, throw up. Hello, Finley. Did you have a nice weekend? Yes, thank you. A little stormy. How do you like the new room? Well, I missed the waterfall a little. As ah, she's still coming in with the jokes, huh? Strange, isn't it? When the sun's shining, water drips from the ceiling. But when a real storm comes, the building stays per uh, pretty dry. Yes, kind of ironic, isn't it? Do you know if the hospital has dust trolls by any chance? Dust trolls? I don't believe I've heard of those. I'd be happy to enlighten you if you have a moment. Yeah, yeah, sure. The rain was coming down in buckets. We had to tie everything down to stop the wind, throwing it about. I was home alone, nailing boards to the windows. The whole house was shaking, but I secured what I could. Unfortunately, that didn't include our porcelain windmills. Damn. Anyway, I made the best of it. Fired up the stove and cooked only things that helps on stormy nights like that. A hot cinnamon cocoa with an almond crust. Ah, dang, you ain't gotta go all gourmet on that. Curled up in a blanket and settled into my favorite armchair. Then suddenly, the whole house rumbled, and a bundle of twigs fell on my head. I was about to throw them in the trash when I heard these little voices. Hey, what are you doing? She wants to throw our house in the trash. What's she thinking? They shouted. The sounds were coming from the twigs. There were these little creatures living in the bundle. They called themselves dust trolls. They came by that name because they like to collect dust from around people's homes, use it to sew clothes and blankets. Is that Mr. Cool? We chatted for a while. Unfortunately, their home had been damaged, so they had to ask me to fix it. I didn't have much to hand. Then the dust trolls saw the broken windmill. 
That ugly thing? I asked. But the trolls liked it. So I glued the pieces back together and set it up in the hallway. The trolls were besides themselves. They partied all night. Since that night, I've never needed to dust again. The dust trolls have done it for me. I even noticed to buy, or I even decided to buy a second windmill and put it up at Gilbert's. It saved me a lot of time over the years. All of which I spend happily in my armchair, wrapped up in a blanket with a hot cinnamon cocoa. There's nothing better. I should see if any dust rolls want to move in with me. They'd be a huge help. Well, I'm afraid I don't know exactly how one goes about getting them to move into a house. It seems to just happen. Do you think Gregor Glendower knows about this? Yes, I know he does. In fact... It was his favorite story when he was young. Shall we take a look at your lungs? I was hoping my story would captivate you enough to make you forget the work. Hey, don't worry like that, lady. Aw, oh, changing up the buttons now, huh? Bed rest is the order for the day now, okay? Let the antibiotics do their job. Well, I'd rather keep moving. I know, but please try for me. And you need to drink a lot so your mucous membranes can defend themselves against the bacteria. Once my son's been a visit, I'll lie down straight away, I promise. Seems he didn't manage to come by yesterday. I'm sure he'll be here soon. And don't worry, he'll be back on your feet in no time. Don't lie to her, man. I, I, you can't make false promises and shit. Doc, I'm done. Don't, don't look at the medicine one, you know? Shit. Take care, Finley. You must have sensed how tense the atmosphere is here. Sometimes the weather is a reflection of people's moods. What are your thoughts on the situation? That's no concern of yours at the moment. I'm going to get a cup of tea. Just be on your toes. More so than usual. Oh, they're all here. There you are. Have you two been waiting for me? Yep. Me and I have been speaking. There's a really weird vibe here today. You want to go over to Gilbert's and talk it over? Oh, I'd love to come. Thanks for waiting. No problem. Let's get moving. It's already pretty chilly out. Gregor, have fun with that. Oh, <gasps> it is like a lonchera. Hey, you three. Can I get you a coffee? Not for me, thanks. What about you two? I'm more in the mood for a beer. And I'm afraid I'm not, or I've not been sleeping well for the last few days. I think I need to give up caffeine. Oh, well, worth the shot. Come by again sometime. I have the best coffee in all the porcupine. Will do, man. Kind of a sick little setup. Hey, Guliano. Sit down, warm yourselves up. There's a free table back there. We'll take that one. No problemo. What can I get you? I'd like something warm, something fruity, something strong, something down to earth. Surprise me. Eh, hey, surprise me, Guliano. That's what I was hoping you'd say. Sure, coming right up. Make yourselves at home. I'll bring it over. Hmm. That's the stuff. How do you like your drink, Finley? Oh, it's great. That's what I like to hear. So, what do you think? About today, I mean. We don't normally have general meetings like that. Only when something really important happens. Like when a person or a body part is... Okay, how do you guys lose body parts? I thought I was misreading that. There's no way... This hospital is still fully functioning. Those were just made up examples, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, anyway, oh my, it's actually happened. That is crazy. It's an old building. Bits fall off now and then. One year we had so much snow, we thought the roof was going to cave in. What did you do? Nothing at all at first. We were on call. If it had gotten worse, we'd have evacuated the hospital. There's a contingency plan for things like this. We'd have driven everyone over to the school gym hall. Why there? It's big. It's empty. Plenty of power outlets. Good access for ambulances. Oh, that's a pretty good call. The roof's still intact. And this kind of thing happens in a storm sometimes. It's getting more and more common, especially in recent years. Maybe we should ask Dr. Theobald about it. Yeah. We could do that. Or these miscreants. Get a load of this, Patrick. That's our table. What are these losers doing here? I was about to ask the same thing, Ralph. Disrespectful, you ask me. You said it. I know you three goons. 
You work over in the hospital, right? Oh, and little Carly's back again. Still recovering from our last little chat, huh? What do you want? We want an apology. An apology? That's right. Patrick had an incident a few weeks ago. Got hit by some stupid woman bus driver. <laughs> Holy shit. If I didn't have such quick reflexes, I'd be stone dead right now. But, okay, he just said that you got hit. What do you mean reflexes? Reflexes for what? Sounds like you got lucky. Could have been a lot worse. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Tell him, Patrick. Well, I didn't get away completely unscathed, of course. I had a deep wound on my arm. It needed stitches. But instead of treating it properly, the hospital just stitched it up and sent me straight back home. Two days later, it was like it was on fire. You can't imagine the pain. I had to take antibiotics. This is how I feel like they would be talking. Like if they had actual voice actors. I can still feel it now. Yeah, and it's your fault, you bunglers. Well, we're very sorry, of course. But these things happen. We weren't the ones who treated you. We, or, where don't work it? Yeah, we don't work in surgeries. That must be a typo. Uh, believe us, we do our best for every sick or injured person that comes to us. And so do the staff in surgery. Complications can happen. It's not ideal, but it's not uncommon either. You hear that, Ralph? She admits it. It's their fault you're chronically handicapped. I Okay, buddy, I don't think that's what she said. We should shut that place down, throw all those idiots out, and tear the whole dump down. If you weren't all so lousy at your jobs, my wife would have been dead for the... Oh, okay, so that's why he has a grudge with them. And like that's not enough, you gotta pocket all their insurance money as well. While we work our butts off day after day. Yeah, yeah, they can't say shit about that one. Shit is expensive, man. Hey, look, the little cotton swab does talk after all. What did you say? Say it again. It's real loud in here, don't you think? I'm sorry about what happened to your wife. But these two didn't have anything to do with it. You know that. But what you don't know is how hard we try. Every day, every night, sometimes we don't even get a chance to sleep. So come on, let us enjoy one night out together, okay? Well, I accept your apology. That still doesn't make up for the damage done to my friend. Let's see now. How about you pay our tab for a year? That, whoa, nah, nah, nah. You just won't let it go, will you? Maybe I should give you a smack in the mouth. Oh, wouldn't it be the first time. Damn. All right, fight. I want to see it. Carl, don't be stupid. No, Carl, be stupid. That's it. Time to crack some skulls. Hell yeah. Use your horns. One for each one. Oh, shit. We actually get a scrap. Hold on. You're not letting him get away with that. Time to wipe that grin off Ralph's face. Each fighter can attack once per round. This is an RPG. What the fuck? Uh, keep an eye on your health points and magic points. Holy Cobra Carl. Okay, so we have slaps. We got abilities. Holy shit. Disinfect, punch, Anastasia. Stuns an enemy for 40 heavy attack. And then regens. Okay. Um. Oh, shit. That's, that's 40. That's a lot. Heavy attack. Okay. Ah, you missed, you stupid bastard. Okay, how much for a disinfect? 25. Okay. Well... Shit, how do I how do I go back? I mean, I could just heal now. Yeah, let's just heal now. Why not? Damn, that was a crit. 34? Oh, shit. He can heal, too. Come on, Carl. You got this shit. God damn, that slap is loud as shit. Just keep slapping him. We've got a huge, huge lead in, uh, in health. Oh, feck. Okay, we got to get rid of Ralph. There you go. He's out, baby. He's out. Ah, oh, Plant Patrick is that that's a very fitting name. He's gonna eat shit. He's not even a glass cannon, he's just ass. And with the other side. Bozo. Oh no. Now here come the police. Ouch. Ow. Hey you klutz, be careful. Can't you see my buddy's hurt? 
That's right. Gravely injured. They don't give a shit. Just look at those two. There's nothing wrong with them. Look at me. Don't see me complaining, do you? Right, relax, man. You had your chance. Just relax. You want me to calm down? Did you hear the way the jerk was talking about us? I know. I'm angry too. But we're only playing into his hands if we start a fight now. Breathe, Carl. Breathe. Better? Better. Let's call it a night. It's probably better if we all go to bed. See you tomorrow? Yeah, sleep well. And Carl, you need to put some ice on that. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait to tell Alfino about this. Oh, yeah, he's not here. Oh, that's it? No no antics or nothing? Just a normal wake-up. Cool. All right, well, what a way to end off the night. <laughs> get off work, get into a fight. Holy shit. That was kind of fun. It was a little bit buggy because when you selected something, you're kind of locked into that. I don't know if I was just... Like, not hitting the right button, but it doesn't tell you which button to hit to go back. So, I, I don't know. A little bit glitchy, but pretty fun. Music was banging, too. Hopefully, we don't get fired. Hopefully, Carl does, because he's still not my favorite <laughs> out of the group. Mia, hopefully, is, keeps her job. Till then, though, hopefully, y'all enjoyed this episode. If you did, go ahead and like the video. Sub, click the bell icon. Follow me on Twitter. Let me see in the comments all that good stuff. Appreciate y'all. Much love, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.